our discussion actually uh, today class is about video editing. So sa module natin, it is uh, unit 3 where we'll be using Wondershare Filmora. But uh, the overall discussion dito is um, generic. No, um, so I'll make sure I'll try na yung discussion natin will be applicable, no, even dun sa other video editing softwares, uh, at least dun sa mga basic video editing software. Um, sa module natin, I'll just uh, walk you through. Uh, yung unit natin na to has um, seven lessons, where lesson one uh, will be about introduction sa Wondershare Filmora, the idea or objectives is to um, explore yung workspace niya. Tapos, um, lesson 2 naman natin. About video editing. So, yung mga uh, basic process ng video editing. Yan, nakadiscuss dyan. Tapos, sa lesson 3, editing audio. Tapos, sa lesson 4, uh, image, editing, text, and titles. Lesson 5, adding effects. Lesson 6, advanced editing. Siguro yung mga ibang techniques, no? Yung mga ibang techniques ng, uh, na video editing, naka-apply dyan. And then, lesson 7, of course, is yung exporting and sharing your uh, project. But, in our case, para mas madali na lang nating mag-grasp yung uh, software, no? Uh, Sinamarize ko yung mga topics into easy way. So, I made this uh, PowerPoint. Okay, um, last November, nag-conduct din ako ng um, uh, webinar about video editing sa Wulsu last November. So, eh, dinagdagan ko na lang ito ng konti. And um, yung mga topics natin dito will be about uh, video editing in general. So, applicable kahit sa other video editing software. I know yung iba sa inyo, baka mas preferred nilang gamitin yung other video editing software na gamit nila nila sa PC. Baka may nag video edit na sa inyo. If wala, uh, you might want to use this. If hindi, merong other alternatives din naman na applicable and same process lang din yung gagawin. Tapos, uh, we also took the consideration na baka magkaroon nga ng time crunch sa ending ng uh, semester. So, ito yung pinili namin si Wondershare, um, Filmora. And uh, supposedly, Adobe Premiere dapat tayo. But yun nga, uh, magkukulan tayo sa time. So, <clears throat> kaya nag uh, We use this uh, Filmora. Okay? Since ito yung most easy to use um, and the uh, basic video editing software. Where pwede na natin magamit din yung mga other features okay? uh, easily. Okay? So, yun. Kahit sa phone, mayroon din siya. So, yun. Kaya, kinawa din namin yung, uh, yung idea na ito na lang gamitin nating software. So, yun. <clears throat> and, uh, let's start. So, video editing class is basically uh, the process ng editing ng video. Siyempre, parang sa photo manipulation, process ng editing i photo Pero sa video editing, just to give you um, <clears throat> a recall, no? Sa multimedia project, sa video editing, yung produce natin doon is also a multimedia project. Uh, multimedia project siya into other category. So, meron kasi tayong two categories ng um, multimedia projects, right? So, uh, sa two categories ng multimedia projects, dito pumapasok yung tinatawag na linear. Uh, linear kasi yung produce natin dito will start from uh, very beginning up to the end. Even without uh, user interaction or even without user intervention, magpa-play yung multimedia project. It will play from the start up to the end. Unlike no, yung non-linear, okay, pag sinabing non-linear, examples niyan yung mga interactive games, interactive um, multimedia projects, katulad ng, yun nga, games. Um, hindi siya, <clears throat> hindi siya one-way yung uh, flow niya. Uh, kasi kailangan niya pa ng user interaction, user intervention. So, parang alimbawa sa games, hindi ka magpo-proceed unless um, uh, gamitin mo yung character into something like this, etc. So, yun. So, video editing process natin is a linear type. Tapos, uh, yun. Magpo-produce din tayo ng ganun. Of course, linear multimedia project. Also, we have discussed na before yung media assets like in uh, Photoshop. 
Pero in this case, uh, pwede tayong gumamit ng other assets pa, another uh, multimedia element assets pa like audio, uh, videos, etc. Where pag-uusapan din natin sila, where natin sila uh, kukuhanin or download. The safest way to access your, to access media assets na let's say gusto nyo mag-practice ng video editing, gusto nyo lagyan ng uh, videos, different video clips or audio, etc. The safest way is to use public domain assets. When you say public domain assets, they are free to use, can be used for commercial and even non-commercial. Ibig sabihin, kahit gamitin nyo siya sa, uh, let's say, you have a business or something, wala, tayong, wala kayong magiging problema. Wala kayong uh, magiging problema to copyright or it is not subject to copyright. So, public domain. Sir, para mo natin malalaman kung yung uh, <clears throat> assets is public domain, etc. Uh, actually, kung gusto nyo kumuha ng ganong mga assets, pwede nyo naman, nyo naman i-download. Pwede nyo naman i-search muna. Uh, Maghanap kayo ng mga resources, just type in public domain photos. Ganon. Kaya public domain videos. Kaya public domain uh, audio. Mga ganon. Uh, Doon, Doon, may mga mag appear na websites and then it will offer you list uh, different uh, lens, list of assets na may kita nyo naman doon naka-indicate uh, yung properties nila if they are public domain or not. Minsan, yung mga ibang assets, kailangan nila ng attribution. Minsan, uh, hindi. So, yung pinaka-safe is public domain kasi it doesn't need uh, attribution required. So, ibig sabihin, ano, di ba nakalang magpaalam sa author, etc. So, at yun yung key. Okay, yun yung key dito na kailangan nyo malaman. Uh, public domain. And uh, to give you uh, idea din, so kung saan tayo pwedeng kumuha ng other uh, resources like public domain uh, resources, meron tayong nare-recommend sa images. Nasabi ko na to before sa inyo, Pixabay and, and Unsplash. Sa videos, uh, pwede rin natin gamitin itong si Pixabay.com. Katulad nung dati natin sinabi. So kahit sa videos, pwede yan. You just have to uh, go here and then sa filtering, click mo lang yung videos and then you can just type in here any video na kailangan mo and then magpo-provide na siya sa'yo ng list of um, free to use and the uh, public domain assets. So, pwede ka mag-click let's say <clears throat> this one and then you can just click yung free download the, here later. So, pwede nyo gamitin kung gusto nyo mag-practice ng video edit, etc. Also, if you want to uh, download naman some uh, free music. Yan. So, meron tayong uh, tawag naman na uh, YouTube Audio Library where dito personally na kapag download din ako ng sarili ko uh, music or maybe background music sa gawing uh, video na i-edit. Ang uh, maganda dito is I can uh, access yung filtering din niya dito. Let's say, uh, nagamit ako ng background music. Like for the genre, I can choose like ambient, for example. Then when you click apply, magbabago na yung list automatically. So lahat ng ambient, yung genre. Tapos, I'll try to change yung mood. Let's say about calm, dark, about happy, or about sad. Then I can click apply. So yun. Uh, personally, dinownload ko to. Itong pangalawa natin, itong feature renaissance. Uh, to download this, you can just have to uh, click download. Ito lang yun. Or if you want to play it first before nyo siya uh, i-download, you can just click that. Okay. So, yun. Uh, I have already downloaded that kasi mamaya gagamitin natin sa isang example natin yun. Some terminologies na may encounter natin when it comes to video editing is uh, first, meron tayong tinatawag na aspect ratio. The okay, aspect ratio is basically yung para pinaka-base uh, width and height size ng isang um, uh, video or project, even uh, image, ganun din. So, classically, classic, classic uh, yung 4 by 3 is yung dati na aspect ratio na pinaka-common noon. So, kung uh, alam nyo pa yung mga dating TV or mga dating monitor na parang kuba na monitor. O kaya kung baka nadadaan kayo before sa mga may TV, surplus na stores, no? Kita nyo doon yung mga TVs almost, ano sila, parang pa-square yung, yung uh, shape nila. Unlike nowadays, 
uh, mas ano mas pahaba mas pa landscape yung dating ng mga monitors natin if you are also watching this using your phones or cell phones at uh, let's say kung nanonood kayo na naka landscape yung cell phone then uh, probably naka 16 by 9 yan kasi kubagan naka higa no naka landscape like that and uh, so on so yun yung aspect ratio usually yun yung gagamitin natin 16 by 9 um but depende sa purpose of course bit rate is basically ito yung um uh, ito lang bit rate tapos frame rate and resolution yan yung tatlong yan bit rate frame rate saka resolution it affect the actual quality ng video okay the uh, common fact there are common factors to uh, affect yung quality ng video and uh, tandaan nyo, pagka bit rate the higher the value ng bit rate the higher ng quality ng ano natin ng uh, video okay meron kasi tinatawag na rendering process sa video editing where sa rendering process dun kina combine ni minimerge na ng video editing software ng lahat ng nilagay mong assets clips audio video um everything okay uh tapos kapag ka uh, let's say let me open up yung for that and uh, Filmora so I can show you yung bitrate it's also like the cycle cycle per second <clears throat> so dito kanina sa Filmora ang um, gamit conversion dito is uh, Filmora 8.5 pero yung binigay ko sa installer like um, last week uh, I believe that's Filmora 9 and uh, meron din Filmora 10 available na but um, I'm what I'm trying to show you class is uh, applicable yung steps natin kahit basic or lower version yung gagamitin natin or other um, uh, software. So let's say I'll be using 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I'll be clicking full feature mode to access the full feature mode ng video editing natin. And um, here, let me open up um, a sample project like here. So ang idea niya, is ganito yung video editing software natin. Tapos, meron din yung process na tinatawag na export or publish. On this part, uh, when you click this, eto na yung tipong sinasave mo na siya as MP4. O kaya other file formats na uh, playable sa mga video players natin or media players natin. And then, yung sinasabi ko kanina ng bitrate is makikita natin dito sa settings, further settings. And uh, makikita nyo rin yan kahit Adobe Premiere yung gamit ninyo or other uh, software, you'll see here na pwede natin i-adjust. So, anong kailangan ng tandaan sa bitrate? Okay. 2000 kbps is low quality ng um, bitrate. So, ito yung parang um, cycle or transfer ng data. Sa iba, ang tawag dito is data rate. So, the lower the value, the lower din ng quality. So, gusto nyo na medyo, medyo okay na na quality, you can go with 6000 kbps. O kaya 8000 and uh, more. Okay, pwede 10,000, etc. Yung 10,000, okay na yung quality nun, ng bitrate. So, you can choose 6,000 if you want. And uh, sa frame rate, ito yung frames per second. Uh, kung nalala nyo pa yung sa Adobe Animate ninyo before, baka na, ayan, ayan na-discuss naman yun sa FPS. Uh, yung binamagin na FPS is frames per second. So, uh, it uh, it's just about how many frames. Okay. So, about lang yun sa how many frames per second yun na display uh, The higher ng frames na display per second, the more is smoother nung um, display. So, you can choose 50 FPS. Usually, sa TV, alam ko, sa, ang standard na FPS is 50. Pero sa mga ibang monitors, uh, umabot ng 60 and uh, more, lalo na sa mga ibang gaming monitors, yung iba, mas mataas pa niyan. But um, 30 FPS can be good or standard. And then resolution is yung width and height. And then you can just click OK. Tapos pwede na mag-start yung rendering process. So, done class. Pinapakita ko sa inyo na uh, ayun yung mga settings sa pwede natin magamit pag mag export na. Um, compression is yung ginagawa natin process na yun. Actually is... Uh, compression, the process of reducing the amount of data in the video file. Minsan, you need to compress a video file. Depende sa purpose mo. Uh, baka hindi naman kailangan sobrang laki dapat ng file. Halimbawa, ang target mo na 
display should be 720p lang or 480p, you can just lower the uh, uh, file um, formats or settings. And, uh, yun. So, yun yung compression. Kinocompress natin, yun lower natin yung quality. And, um, frame rate, yun nabanggit natin kanina, frames per second. Again, you can use 30 as a standard or higher. Pag gusto nyo mas better uh, smoothness ng mga uh, display natin. Tapos, uh, resolution naman. Um, also, katulad na sabi ko kanina, bit rate, FPS, tsaka resolution. Again, they affect the uh, overall quality ng uh, video. Resolution is basically, ito yung uh, PPI or DPI na na-discuss natin before sa Photoshop or yung um, pixels per inch na tinatawag. So, how many pixels per inch yung display? The higher number of pixels, no, the higher value ng quality. So, baka na-try nyo na rin naman, of course, let's say, kung nanonood kayo sa YouTube, for example, meron mga different settings minsan na to choose from kapag manonood ka ng video. And makapansin nyo doon na minsan, bakit mas matagal mag-load yung 720p or even yung 180p kasi mas maraming pixels yung nilo-load but higher quality siya. So, yun yung resolution na ginagamit natin. Um, can be 640 by 480 I think 480p. I think 720p. Ito naman yung uh, 180p. Tapos, mayroon pang ano dyan. 260p. Mayroon pang 4K. Ayan. But, this is good, ano na, HD na. Good quality na yan. Okay? And, again, for this software, we're using uh, Wondershare Filmora. The easy to use um, video editing software. I'm not trying to uh, discuss na ito lang ang pwedeng gamitin. You can also use other alternative software. We just find it much um uh easy to use and meron na silang mga kuno ng mga uh, advancement or updates palagi so <clears throat> you can uh, try to use this mm. and then five easy steps in video editing so five easy steps in video editing uh, i just came up with it um i just uh think na ito yung mga commonly steps na pwedeng magamit even if you are using other video editing software. So, uh, to edit a video, first step is always to create a project file. Kahit naman sa photo manipulation, etc. You need to create a project file muna. Di ba? And then, when you create a project file, you need to import media files. Um, and then, after mong ma-import yung mga files na yun, lahat ng video clips, lahat ng audio, etc. Kung isa lang naman in-edit mong video o isa lang nalagay mong video, tapos add ka ng background music, ganun. Dun sa tinatawag na project folder or media library. So, import lang muna ng import. Tapos, after mo mag-import, from the library na pinag-importan mo ng mga assets, you can insert them dun sa tinatawag na tracks or timeline. Um, I'm, I'm sure you are familiar naman sa Adobe Animate. Um, before, may timeline Kaya before with using frames dito, pinikay ba sa video editing, you are um, uh, literally putting the assets dun sa timeline. And then, apply editing options. Sa editing options, pwedeng i-edit mo pa yung contrast, brightness, saturation ng image. Pwedeng i-modify mo yung volume or speed ng audio na lalagay mo. Or you can also adjust maybe yung video kung gusto mo siyang naka-slow motion, gusto mo naka-crop, etc. Uh, or baka naka-split yung mga different sections or areas niya. Then after performing those options, you can then publish or export your video. Um, yun, so that easy. Ganun lang. Hindi um, ko sa sabing easy yung video editing, but um, easy to understand, easy to follow lang naman yung process, but I'm not saying na madali yung video editing kasi... Depende minsan sa mga assets na gagamitin natin, depende sa purpose, depende sa gusto natin mangyari na i-edit, doon nagiging complex yung video editing. Um, plus yung rendering. Kasi sa rendering process, mas um, matagal, the higher number ng mga video clips or the longer ng duration ng mga videos, tsaka the higher number ng mga um, effects na in-apply mo, animation, etc. And... Um, Yung discussion natin is more on about uh, learning by example. So, what I mean is more on demonstration. So, to learn some techniques or ways on how to use yung 
software natin, yung uh, Wondershare Filmora. And the first is, I'll be showing yung overview muna ng uh, Wondershare Filmora. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag class sa interface niya na media library. So, ito yung mga uh, main, ano niya, main parts sa interface. So, may tinatawag na media library, may tinatawag na preview window, toolbar, and uh, the timeline. Media library is where we put our media assets. When I say media assets, uh, I do advise na, na gawin natin medyo organized yung folder natin ng assets. Um, siguro, wait. Okay, so... So, to organize our assets folder, what I do is ganito. Let's say, meron ka main folder. Sa main folder mo, pwede kang gumawa ng folder na output para dito mo sinesave yung mga MP4 files, yung mga output files. Project file, dito mo sinesave yung mga um, project file na pwede mo balik-balikan editable files. .wve yung file extension kasi it's formerly known as uh, Wondershare video editor before. So, pinalitan na lang ng name. Okay, so, ito yung extension, .wve. And then, meron akong assets folder. Sa assets folder, uh, might contain other folders pa where kapag sinabi kasi natin media assets, di ba? So, pwede tayong mag-input ng, maglagay ng folder ng videos, folder para sa mga images, folder para sa, let's say, meron kang recording, meron kang audio assets, let's say, mga background music, etc. Uh, other video clips and so and then from those assets pwede mo silang actually um, literally i-drag sa tinatag ng media library so if meron tayong interface na Wondershare Filmora ito yung tinatawag nating media library okay so this area is actually a media library natin where we can just drag our media assets no by the end of this um, uh, discussion, we should be able class to create um, like this, or we should be able to edit. So, I have dito download na video from YouTube for personal use. Lab. Okay, na ginamit natin ng green screen um, effect. Like, if, for, if uh, for example, i-off ko yung layer ng may green screen effect, ito siya. So, usually, yung may green screen effect, ginagamit kahit sa mga movies. So, I'll be showing you yung example din na ito kung paano siya gawin with um, Filmora. And, uh, so, you can apply that sa yung mga video editing. Okay, so <clears throat> proceed tayo. Let me create um, a new project. And uh, ito yung sinasabi ko media library class. Ito, yung section na to. So, dinrag ko lang lahat dyan yung mga assets na kailangan ko sa isang video editing. Um, let me show you an example muna. Uh, sample output. Terroir is a French word with no equivalent in English or Italian. It is a tricky concept to grasp, but terroir generally describes the interaction between the landscape and the products emanating from the plants grown at a... Okay, so merong uh, akong video output dito na kung saan yung... Particular location. Ano lang, this basic lang yung kailangan ng client. Produced. So, ang ginawa natin is pinagsama-sama natin yung mga videos, tapos konting video edit, konting split, konting adjustments. That said, it is the winemaker who interprets this terroir and aims to either maximize its expression or not. And then some ending, outro, something like that. So, <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, so try natin mag-create din ng ganun while I'm showing you class yung parts ng uh, Filmora. So, dito muna tayo sa may um, media library. So, sa media library, I'd like to import 
some assets na gagamitin ko to create an output, something like that, yung pinakita ko sa inyo ngayon lang. So, on my assets folder, Uh, open ko muna yung Filmora. Okay. On my assets folder, meron ako dito folder kung saan nandito yung mga clips na ginamit ko. Ayan sila. So, mag-edit ka na ng videos. Ang um, first thing na ginagawa dapat natin, let's say sa Filmora, is uh, maybe to organize yung uh, mga project folder natin dito. So, I usually do this. Uh, pwede natin i-click yung folder na to. Yan dito sa may media library, yung may plus sign. When you click that, makakapag-create ka ng bagong project folder. And so, meron akong project folder na my project. And then, I can now literally drag the assets here. So, select ko lang. Oops. Yan. Select lang natin. And then, drag. That. And then, I can also click yung, mga, yung folder kung saan nandito yung um, mga audio files na gagamitin ko. I can just drag them here. Kung meron pa akong other assets, uh, drag lang tayo ng drag dyan. And uh, yun yung project folder natin. Now, if you want to edit uh, videos, to compile videos, etc., you can just literally drag from here papunta doon sa timeline natin. So, then sa parts ng Filmora natin, ito yung tinatawag na timeline. Ayan. So, ito yung tinatawag natin timeline. Sa timeline, para siyang, uh, uh, para siyang yung timeline din ng Adobe Animate before. But, dito sa timeline na to, literally, doon mo nilalagay yung mga assets, videos, audios, tapos may kanya-kanya sila mga layers. So, may layer dito para sa um, para sa videos, may layer para sa text, kung maglalagay ka ng mga overlaying um, text, kung maglalagay ka ng mga audio files, dito sila mag appear So, ayun. Um, so, let me do that. Before I drag something sa timeline natin, ito yung pwede natin magawa. No? So, pwede tayong mag-click muna ng asset na gusto natin. Click lang. Ayan. Pagka-click ko sa kanya, I can go dito sa tinatawag natin preview window. Yung preview window natin is, uh, technically, ginagamit natin siya to play muna yung asset or element or effect na gusto natin ilagay later on or yeah, play later on sa timeline natin. So, yun yung preview window natin dito. So, click ka lang sa asset mo, tapos you can click play dito sa preview window. So, para makita mo doon yung output muna or uh, ano ba yung meron dun sa asset na yun okay, before you put it dun sa timeline mo so again uh, timeline tapos ito yung preview window okay so let's drag a video um, let's say let's say this one yan so drag ko lang sa dun sa timeline And uh, ang shortcut para ma-play mo or ma-pause mo yung video is yung space bar. So, pinalas ko yung space bar, nag-play na yung video agad dito sa ating preview window. As you can see, yung video na to is uh, a raw file, raw video. Kaya, hindi masyadong smooth yung other parts nung ano niya. Uh, playback niya, like that. Kuha siya sa drone. But, uh, ayun. Okay, so yun. Nakapaglagay na tayo ng uh, asset. Also, if you want to add additional asset, aside from uh, dragging, you can literally click yung plus sign dito. When you click that, may mag na check sign, and then may kita mo na lang dyan na na-add na yung asset na yun. Okay, ganun lang kadali. I'm sure yung iba may idea na sa video editing, but ayun, ganito yung sa Filmora. Now, um, next part is meron tayong tinatawag naman na toolbar. Okay, toolbar is basically, simple lang yung toolbar natin dito sa version na to ng Filmora. Possible class na may additional tools na dun sa um, binigay ko sa inyo para ma-try. 
Pero ayun. Ah, uh, dito basically ito yung mga tools na meron siya. So, yung mga tools na ga-appear yan pag nag-click ka na dun sa video asset mo na nasa timeline. So, when you click that or audio asset, etc. May mag a na tools dito na pwede magamit. So, mayroon tayong most common list na ginagamit dito is yung uh, split. So, yung split, pwede mo siyang i-access para, um, para ma-divide mo yung video actually. Let's say, ngayon, meron ako isang video asset lang dito. But when I move this playhead, let's say, move ko siya somewhere here. Tapos, when I click this split um, icon or tool, then, i-split niya into two yung video na ito. That way, you can uh, further modify, let's say, this one, gusto mo siyang i-delete, tapos ito, gusto mo siyang uh, mag-remain uh, sa timeline, pwede yun. Okay? Also, aside from clicking yung tool, kapag mag split uh, when you move this playhead, merong small icon dito ng split din. So, para kahit mapunta ka somewhere malayong part ng timeline, kasi somewhere here, hindi mo nakita yung tool, you can just always uh, click yung tool na to to split yung um, video or audio or image na uh, dinidisplay sa timeline. Okay? So, and this example then maliban to split, merong delete, merong crop, etc. So, i-access natin lahat yan late. Y yung mga most commonly na magamit natin dyan. Okay? So, in this case, gusto ko muna kahit mga 5 seconds lang siguro dito. So, So, kukunin ko yung footage kung saan yung um, display is maybe from here, like that. So, i-split ko siya. And then, I can press space bar to play. Maybe hanggang doon, kuhanin natin. So, uh, I can now click yung split ulit. So, yung portion na ito yung gusto ko lang kuhanin sa video na na-capture. Um, so, I can now click this to delete and then this one to delete. Okay? So, in that case, nakuha na natin yung portion na to. Yan, para mga 4 seconds yata siya. Now, pag gusto mag-edit ng video, gusto mag-edit ng audio, gusto mag-edit ng image sa Filmora, what you can do is ganito lang. Um, Okay, matakot din sa baka meron kayong maklik na something dyan or what, ano mangyari. Uh, In-advise ko sa inyo class na mag-double click kayo dun sa mga assets na, na nilalagay nyo dyan. Double click ko kaya, right click. Kapag nag-right click ka kasi, marami mga options na mag appear and then you can click edit. Or, ay uh, mga quick editing like auto enhance, power tool, freeze frame, etc. Um, I literally advise na mag-double click kayo. Let's say, double click ko to, ayun na sa timeline. When you do that, uh, as you can see, nag-appear yung different uh, options dito na settings na pwede daw natin i-apply din sa video. Pagtapos ka na, you can just click OK. And then, mabalik ka na ulit dito sa may media automatic. Okay? Uh, gusto mo mag-add ng background music, click mo yung music. Tapos, may mga downloadable music na available sa Filmora. Meron siya mga categories dito na pwede mong uh, i-click tapos drag sa timeline. You want to add some text, click mo yung text. Meron dito mga available text. Let's say, for example, mga labeling lang ng text ang gusto mong ilagay. You can literally like uh, try ano ba yung appearance ng mga other text. Let's say, i-click ko yan. Yan, so click ko siya. Tapos when I click play, yan, may kita natin na meron na siyang sariling animation, etc. So, gusto mo lang maglagay ng text. Tapos, pag nilagay mo na sa timeline, doon mo na siya pwedeng i-modify re edit gusto mo mag-add ng um, transitions so to display on how uh, the following video are being displayed tas merong filters may mga filters na parang i-blur niya yung video mo or i-shake or apply some different filters na available meron ding overlays let's say may mga uh, like this light leaks or lens flare na pwedeng i-apply sa video elements, mga minsan may mga animated elements na pwede nyo ilagay. Uh, tapos, split, split screen yan. Depende sa purpose ng gagawin niya video. But, yun, ganun lang kasimple yung meron na meron tayong menu for video editing natin sa Filmora. 
And again, let's say literally gusto kong i-edit yung video. So ang gagawin ko lang is double click. Okay? And then I can now adjust like yung contrast, brightness, saturation, uh, duration. Ayan. Duration, kapag ka hinabahan ko yung duration nito, let's say ginawa ko siyang 10. 10 seconds. Like that. And then I can click. Okay. Tatandaan nyo, pag hinabahan nyo yung duration ng cell video, naging slow motion siya. So, kung gusto nyo apply yung slow motion sa isang video, dagdagan nyo lang ng duration. You can click. Okay. So, yung originally 4 seconds, ginawa nating 10. So, yung uh, display ngayon is naka-slow mo siya. Like that. But, um, pwede natin siya ibalik sa kanina. I think, 4 seconds lang yun. If you want to um, further modify, let's say, double click natin, further modify natin yung, let's say, yung saturation, brightness. So, yeah, adjust natin. I can add more saturation. I can add more contrast. Tapos, brightness, content. Then I can click OK. All right. Um, also, if you want to go to advanced editing, you can click advanced. Tapos, you can try yung mga preset na gusto mo dyan. Kung gusto mo siyang uh, i-change yung uh, dating ng uh, video. And, uh, et cetera. Let's add more other clips. So, let's add maybe this clip. So, drag ko siya dito. Yan. So, medyo mahaba yung video na to. Uh, gusto kong kuhanin yung portion kung saan. Um, para siya nag-zoom in. Siguro doon sa mga crops na yun. Yan. So, yung mga video clips na to is actually galing din sa mismong uh, company na nag-create ng wine. So, kaya kung magtataka kayo bakit ganito yung mga footage. Mga drone footage sila. So, sa US, yung brand winemaker. So, mga farm sila ng mga grapes. Ayan. So, ispit ko. Part na yan. I can just delete this part. Tapos, delete natin yung part na yun. Ayan. Okay. Double click. And duration it is 7 seconds. Okay, siguro I may want to split further yung other section niya. Yan, so I have reduced it into sixth um, second duration of video, like that. And um, kung nagtataka kayo class, yung mga video na ina-add ko ngayon, bakit wala silang audio? Kasi mga drone shots sila. Yung drone yata na gamit nila is yata nakapag-capture siguro ng audio. So, wala siyang audio. But what if you're going to add a video na meron siyang audio? Okay. So, halimbawa, eto. So, the drag ko siya dito sa timeline. And, uh, let's play it. I'm not sure kung may narinig kayong audio dun sa grip, pero sobrang-sobrang hina lang talaga. Pero meron siyang audio. But just in case mayroong audio yung video na in-edit natin, you can double-click it. Tapos mapansin nyo dito, class, ganun pa rin naman yung settings, nandiyan pa rin. Pero ang difference ng video, ang video na may audio is meron siyang additional tab na i-display for audio tab. So when you click audio, pwede mong i-modify yung audio nung uh, video na nilagay natin. So, modify mo yung audio settings by clicking this tab or video settings by clicking this tab. Okay? Uh, in my case, gusto ko siyang mawala. Gusto ko mawala yung audio niya. So, I can just um, double click this. I'll go to audio. Yan, video kasi by default. So, I'll go to audio. Tapos, dito sa volume, I can just set it to zero para ma-mute siya. Okay? Then I can click OK. When I do that, walang tayo marinig na audio, of course. Other um, other option na pwede natin gawin is you can do right-click, tapos mute. Okay? 
uh, right now, na-detect ni Filmora na nakamute yung video. Okay, na-detect niya na nakamute. So, I can just double-click this. Tapos, let's say, ibalik natin yung volume niya. Let's say, some, into something like that. Click OK. And you do right-click. Hindi niya ma-detect na nakamute kasi naka-adjust na yung volume into higher um, yeah, volume. So, when you do right-click and then mute, yan. Mawala na yung um, volume ng audio. But, ito yung isa sa mga ways na ginagawa ko din, class, para talaga mawala yung audio. I do right-click. Ito, gawin nyo lang itong pag-sure niya talaga kayo. So, right-click. Tapos, ginagawa ko yung audio detach. Kasi, uh, literally, dito sa video na to, may naka-attach na video. So, ay may naka-attach na audio. So, gusto kong i-detach yung audio na yun. I can do right-click and then audio detach. So, when I do that, uh, pwede natin kontrolin yung audio na to. Like, like, I can actually delete that from keyboard. So, I am sure now na wala na tong audio. Diba? Okay. So, medyo... May pagka-shaky ng konti yung kuha dito. Pero, it's okay. Kunin lang natin yung specific part. Siguro ng video natin. Siguro mga ilang seconds lang. I can um, split that and then I can delete this part. Just so, double-click ko tong video. Uh, three second lang siya. So, gawin natin siya medyo slow lang. So, gawin natin siyang five seconds. And then, let's play it. Now, ano pa yung pwede kong gawin dito? Bukod sa, i-adjust ko yung brightness, uh, adjust ko yung saturation, yan, bukod doon, ano pa ba? Yan, so, pwede kong gamitan ng, uh, click OK. Pwede natin gamitin yung crop dito. So, I can just actually click this video, tapos click natin yung crop. When you click yung crop, Pwede kong i-crop yung video para ma-focus siguro dun sa may bandang grape part. Or, I can click yung tab na pan and zoom para magkaroon ng uh, animation. Uh, pakita ko muna yung crop. So, when I click crop, tapos, um, I can now drag these handles. Like that. Gamitan natin ng konting... Uh, rule of thirds. Like that. I can click OK. So, let's play. And, uh, ayun. So, may kating rule of thirds ng content dun sa video. And, crop natin yung video like that. Uh, next, um, is maybe let's add additional two videos. So, yung video na to is ganito siya. Yan, so medyo shaky yung part na yan. Pero gusto lang natin ma-capture dito sa video na to. Yan. So, move ko lang yung playhead. Yan. Gusto natin makapture sa video uh, na to is yung uh, pinapour yung wine sa glass. And then, maybe we can just split that part, yung may shaky part doon. Um, so, space bar play. So, bago niya tanggalin yung bottle, uh, I can just maybe split that video from that part. Then, we can delete this. Tapos, on this part of video, 2 seconds siya. So, lagyan natin siya ng konting. Ba natin ng konting duration. Yan. And then, uh, let's add additional video pa. Itong part na to. So, itong clip na to, meron siyang mga parang take. Take one, take two, something like that. So, ang gusto natin makapture dito na part ng video is yung magta-toast. Let's say, yung mag-partner like that. So, wine. So, 
So maybe starting from here or no. From there, tapos magtatawas, tapos medyo shaky ng konti. So, pwede siguro nating uh, gawing technique dito is ganito. Uh, magtatawas sila, normal speed. Tapos, after magtawas, biglang mag slow mo. Okay, siguro. Pwede siguro natin gawing ganun yung ganong effect. So, from here, um, i-split ko yung video. Tapos, delete na muna natin yung extra. Also, parang meron tayong narinig na audio dito sa video na ito pala kanina. That's why merong audio tab. So, I can right-click, audio detach, and then I can just uh, delete this. Right-click, audio detach, and then delete. Yeah. Anyway, on this part, uh, so magta-toast sila, tapos i-slow mo natin pag nag- Collide na yung mga wine glass. Okay. So, from there, siguro, i-split ko yung video. Um, split ko siya, hindi para i-delete yung part na to, but para i-remain ko yung speed. Okay? Ma-remain yung speed ng video, pero yung video na to, yung kasunod, para mag-slow mo siya. So, right now, yung duration nito is nasa 8 seconds. Let's say, gawin natin siyang um, 12. So, it's like, tingnan natin yung effect. Normal speed. And then, slow-mo. So, dagdagan pa natin ng konti yung slow motion niya. Uh, let's say, gawin natin siyang 15. So again, uh, normal speed, plus slow mo, like that. All right. So <clears throat> this part na yon nagawa natin yun, and then yun pala magiwale pala yung uh, wine glass nila. So bago siguro mag apart yung wine glass, we can just delete this part. And okay, so baron na tayo. Um, so far, content. This is a video natin na to. Okay. What I suggest is we should save this project first. Okay. Um, I can click save project. Tapos. That. Hindi itong balikan pag ayaw nyo nang uh, edit ulit. Mamaya na lang edit. Pwede natin balikan, etc. But right now, uh, what I want to do is to add some um, audio. Okay? So, meron ako dito actually folder kung saan nakalagay na dyan yung mga videos na ginamit ko dun sa original clip ko before. But, ayun, tinatry lang natin mag-create ng sarili natin right now. And, uh, eto yung mga audio. Tapos, meron din ako nilagay na image na PNG siya. So, transparent. Let's say, gusto natin mag-add ng logo kada video clip. Um, pwede natin yung gawin. So, to do that, class, ito yung ya-avoid muna. No? Okay, ito yung ya-avoid. Yung iba, ba mamayang gawin nila, idadrag nila to, tapos dadalhin somewhere, somewhere here. Okay? Pag ginawa niya yun, syempre, sa dulo lang mag appear yung image. Also, Kapag ang ginawa mo lang is i-click yung plus sign, like that, then mag lang siya somewhere kung saan, kung nasaan yung, ano mo, yung playhead mo. So, hindi yun yung gagawin natin. Ang i-apply natin is yung tinatawag na picture-in-picture, picture, meaning we're putting a picture above dun sa other picture. When I say picture, it's not literally an image, it would be a video. Okay? So, picture-in-picture picture ang tawag sa process nila na yun. So, I can go right-click this. Tapos, apply to PIP. PIP stands for picture-in-picture. Picture. So, ito yung technique para ma-i-place siya over dun sa other media asset mo or video asset. So, I can right-click. Again, apply to PIP. And then, as you can see, ito nag-appear siya dun sa pangalawang layer. So, we don't want this to be displayed somewhere dun sa dulo. Gusto natin ma-display siya, di ba? Dun sa binaka very beginning pa lang. So, I will... 
just uh, drag this. Uh, this will be like a very beginning natin. Tapos, um, I will adjust yung duration niya hanggang dito sa part na yan. Okay, so <clears throat> from here now, uh, we can click this or double click. Yan, double click ako para pwede ko siya lagyan ng animation actually. Pero, yun, hindi ko naman siya lalagyan ng animation. Gusto ko na steady lang yung PNG na to. Okay. Yeah, so um so gagawin natin is I'll go click I'll go click this PNG file. Or drag it here. Tapos uh, ayun, nakita na natin sa preview window. So I can now resize. Then maybe let's place it somewhere here. Yan. So, dun sa mga iba, baka magtatanong na, Sir, picture lang ba ang pwedeng ilagay? No? So, dito kasi, as you can see now, um, naka-display na siya sa lahat ng parts ng video natin kasi in-extend natin yung duration niya. Like that. Sir, picture lang ba pwedeng ilagay? No. Pwede tayo maglagay ng other videos pa. So, halimbawa, um, I want to add this video. Right-click ko lang, tas apply to PIP. Or if you want, you can just drag it. Basta make sure, pag nagdadrag ka nito, ilalagay mo sa bandang ibaba. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, dito sa preview window, resize mo siya. Gusto mo, ayan. Ayan, so as you can see, meron tayong multiple assets. No? Video, PNG file, na pwedeng ilagay. And um, I think we're good with that. Let's add this additional outro video. Yeah, so gumawa ng outro video sa Adobe Animate. Simply fade in niya lang naman yung logo. Like that. And uh, siguro, you, ano natin, para may konting uh, effect habang naka-slow-mo siya. Konti-unti siguro dapat siyang nag-fade out, no, yung video na to. Yung uh, may toast clip. Um, so, maganda siguro, konti-unti nag-fade out siya. Tapos, ito, konti-unti naman siya nag-fade in. So, ang gagawin ko dito is, I'm going to add a transition. Then, let's find some transitions na pwede natin magamit. I'll be using yung basic lang, yung fade. So, I can just drag literally somewhere kung saan ko siya lag, uh, gustong ilagay. Pwede ko siyang ilagay dun sa video lang na to yung merong toast sa bandang dulo niya. Or pwede ko siyang iusog ng konti para magkaroon ng fade out yung may toast. Tapos magkaroon ng fade in yung sumusunod na clip. So, dito ko ilalagay sa in-between nila. Then I can now double click yung transition to modify yung duration ng transition ko. Uh, I can adjust this. Tapos, when I click apply to all, lahat ng transitions na meron ako dito noon, kung meron man, eh, ma-apply yung ganitong duration. Let's say, ginawa ko siya 5 seconds. Medyo matagal yung transition. Kanyari, ginawa ko 2 seconds yung duration like what we have right now. Lahat ng existing transitions magiging 2 seconds pag ganun. Pero, uh, you don't have to do that every time. Pero, pag ginawa mo yun, pwede rin for consistency. But you can click OK since isa lang naman transition natin. And let's see yung effect. So, from here. And siya. And then, fade out. Tapos, fade in. Right? Like that. Okay? Um, you can just go click this media ulit. Tapos, add ko yung mga audio files. So, sa so audio files, drag ko lang. Dito. Ayan. Drag natin siya sa layer ng audio. So I can just put it here. 
When you double click this audio, may mag appear na settings para sa audio. Pwede mong increase yung speed, yung volume. Pwede meron siyang fade in. Fade in is yung paunti-unti siyang nag-entrance. No? Fade out is yung paunti-unti siyang nag-exit. Uh, But uh, they are totally fine when it comes to volume and something. So, di ko na i-edit pa yung uh, volume nila doon. So, i-drag ko lang yung audio doon. One, two, tapos let's say this one. Mm -hmm. Siguro, uh, magbawas tayo ng konting part Yan. So hindi naman ganito yung talaga totally project na meron uh, ako before, medyo madami yung clips na nilagay diyan. But again, for demonstration purposes lang para mas uh, makita natin paano ba yung um, step by step na pwedeng gawin sa video editing dito. So ayun. Right, so let's try it now. Terroir is a French word with no equivalent in English or Italian. It is a tricky concept to grasp, but terroir generally describes the interaction between the landscape and the products emanating from the plants grown at a particular location. That said, it is the winemaker who interprets this terroir and aims to either maximize its expression or not. All right. Um portion na parang nasobrahan yung PNG na then So I can just drag it here. Like that. And we're done now with our first example project. Okay? So napag-edit tayo ng video, napag-attach tayo ng, um, ng image. Pwede tayo mag-add ng picture-in-picture, nag-split, nag-adjust ng basic brightness, contrast, and saturation, etc. Saturation. Um, we have added a transition, tapos nag-add tayo ng audio. Then we can now actually click export. So I think last part uh, na step I mean na gagawin is yung export. So when you click export, we can uh, rename yung project natin. Tapos yung path, saan siya save. Yung other settings, I advise na check niyo yung settings before kayo mag-click ng export basta-basta. So hanapin niyo lang dito. Si Filmora, meron siyang ino-offer na let's say uh, presets na let's say good, better or best quality, okay? So I'd rather use custom. Um so we can adjust yung resolution, yung frame rate, let's say gawin ko siyang 60 bit rate, okay na yung 6K, 8K, o gawin natin siyang 10,000 kbps. Then click okay. So right now ang size niya is um 38 MB. Ang duration ng video natin is 30 seconds lang. Uh, so, medyo small size lang. Tama lang. Okay lang. Sige. Tapos, MP4. Then, we're okay now. We can now click export. So, when you click export, dito mag appear yung rendering process. So, yung rendering process class, matagal. Minsan, mabilis. Mabilis kasi ito, 30 seconds lang yung duration. Konti lang yung effects na i-apply natin. Pero kapag ka yung in-edit mo, let's say 2 hours, 3 hours na video, o kaya, uh, sige, sabihin na natin 3 hours, lahat-lahat. O kaya, kung may mga nag stream sa inyo, kasi before, may inaalala ko, mayroong streamer nag naghahanap ng video editor, tapos parang mababa yung papasahod niya, etc. Kasi, kaya ako sinabi mababa, kasi ang dating, parang ipapa-edit niya yung stream niya, uh, nag-game siya, nag streamer siya, tapos, parang 2 hours or 3 hours yung kailangan mong i-edit. Siyempre, papanoorin mo yung 2 hours or 3 hours na video niya, niya na yun. Ba't mo papanoorin? Kasi yung mga specific parts, imamark mo na baka mamaya meron siya mga nasabi na mga specifics na helpful para sa content niya, uh, etc. etc. So, imamark mo lahat yun. Papanoorin mo yung buong video para makapture mo lahat. You can add some highlights. You can add some additional video effects or add additional video clips. So, doon, Dumadami na dumadami yung gagawin mo. Add ka ng text, ng audio, sound effects, etc. Tapos, um, maliban doon, maliban sa panonawari mo ng 3 hours, edit mo yung video siguro mga, <clears throat> siguro mga 2 hours video editing, so 5 hours na yon Tapos sa rendering, kung 2 hours yung, um, or 
3 hours or 2 hours yung video niya, sa rendering pa lang, nagre-request yung parang nakita ko na nag na video editor na gusto niya ang frame rate, uh, 60fps, ang resolution niya ta 4K, and then yung uh, data rates or bit rate niya is nasa 10,000 pataas. Ang ginamit yata natin ngayon is 10,000 pataas na bit rate. So, so dun sa request niyang yun, sa rendering process, tatagal. Okay, tatagal lang tatagal yan. Baka minsan class may mga experiences ako na yung rendering. Siyempre, depende rin sa PC na gamit. Uh, rendering, humaabot ng minsan mga 4 hours, 5 hours. Okay, so mga ganong klase. Rendering pa lang yun. So, kung gugulin mo yung time mo para panoorin yung video, tas 3 hours, tapos video editing, mga 1 hour, 2 hours, 5 hours na yun. Tapos kung ang rendering mo is nasa 4 hours to 5 hours or more, so, kakain ng 10 hours na, kakainin yung 10 hours mo for for the amount of 250 pesos. Mababa yun. Something like that. Okay? So, okay. So, I'm not saying na palaging mahirap naman yung video editing. Minsan, madali katulad na ito. Konti lang naman. Let's say, kung nasa less than 10 minutes lang yung in-edit natin. Less than 10 minutes. Ganun, 15 minutes. Eh, tama lang. Okay. Average lang. So, yun. Pero ito, 30 seconds lang. So, mas, kaya mas madali yung rendering. Anyway, after rendering process, you can now click find target para lang makita natin kung saan na save, uh, which is, uh, I think, nasan siya? May, ito yun. So, ito na yung project natin. Terwa is a French word with no equivalent in English or Italian. It is a tricky concept to grasp, but terroir generally describes the interaction between the landscape and the products emanating from the plants grown at a particular location. That said, it is the winemaker who interprets this terroir and aims to either maximize its expression or not. Alright, so ayun, from there, nakapag-create na tayo ng sample output. Now, let's try... And um, check yung mga other examples na meron tayo dito. Okay. So first, uh, isa sa mga example na kapakita ko sa inyo is this. Um, meron uh, ako ang ginawa before na output. Say, uh, from here. So, lahat to, uh, ano lang, bilisan ko na lang yung part na to. Uh, dito, lahat to, mga images sila. So, ini-illustrate ko sila sa illustrator. Ayan. Um, siguro yung mahirap na part, medyo matagal na part, is yung pag illustrate ng mga assets. Pero, so on, dun sa mga other parts, other scenes, no lahat to mga images, para akong nag-create lang ng slideshow actually. Yung mga scenes dito, naging reusable na lang. Uh, depende sa scene. Halimbawa, ikaka-copy-paste, copy-paste ko na lang kada artboard, kada scene. Yan. And yung story ng uh, ginawa ko dito, or yung goal ng video na to is to create a storybook video. Wala nga lang siyang narration kasi konting oras na uh, meron before na nabigay sa amin. Actually, Meron kami seminar before, tapos biglang sinabi na, oh, create kayo na ganitong output, parang storybook video, parang given lang sa amin, parang 2 hours or 3 hours. So, nag-illustrate pa ako, tapos after that, nilagay pa namin sa video editing software, like, uh, since basic lang naman na parang slideshow, so, feel more na lang din ginamit ko dito. So, it's a story about a greedy bird na uh, sad story kasi the idea is like uh, mamaya, pakita ko na lang yung mga screenshot. The idea is greedy yung bird, yung black hanggang sa dumating yung point na siya na lang natira and yeah. Okay. Anyway, so pakita ko muna yung mga assets natin. Alright, so paano ba gawin yung ganun? So, I have um, Assets here, images, tapos birds, and eto. Yan, in-illustrate ko sila sa Illustrator. 
Highlight natin yung mga other parts yan. And then, uh, lahat to nilagay natin sa isang project folder. So, sa Filmora, yan, idadrag mo lang lahat yan sa Filmora. Um, in my case, I have already created a project folder. Ayan, Greedy Bird. Ayan, click ko lang to. Tapos na-type lang ako, Greedy Bird, etc. And then, um, let's create a new project na lang. Ayan, so let's say meron tayong project folder na Greedy. Tapos, dun sa assets natin, I'll just drag them all here. And then, ilaload ni Filmora, of course, mga images. So, hindi lang videos, hindi lang audio. Ayan. Kahit mga images, pwede natin silang i-add or i-drag sa project natin like this. And in my case, I'd advise na ganting gawin natin na pag -re rename siguro. Pero kung sa Illustrator ka gumawa at mga artboards, yan, uh, automatic nag add si Illustrator pag nag-export ka nito, uh, nag add siya ng mga numbers. So, that way, mas madali na lang natin silang pagsunod-sunod rin sa timeline, di ba? So, after doing that, actually, ayan, ito yung complete na project file folder ko. Nag-add ako ng images, tapos yung mga audio, background audio. Yung kaninang pinakita ko na YouTube audio library, Dinownload ko na yung audio doon, yung pinlay ko kanina. So, i-add ko siya as background music. Uh, pinili ko yung sad na background music kasi medyo sad yung story. So, yun, and so on. Now, I can um, click and hold shift. Tapos, click ko yung nasa dulo. So, I can now drag all of this now sa timeline. I will just drag them dito sa timeline natin. By default, si Filmora, kapag nag-add ka ng images, automatic nag-add siya ng ganito, yung parang zooming effect na animation. Ayan. Eh, sir, paano pag ayaw ko nung uh, uh, animation niya? Yung automatic, nag-zoom siya ng ganyan. Tapos, after niya mag-zoom, dito naman, nag-zoom out siya. So, sir, paano, paano kung ayaw ko ng ganong klaseng animation? Kasi automatic nilagay yun ni Filmora. So, ito lang gagawin mo. Punta ka sa image mo, like that. Okay, punta ka sa image. Tapos, uh, punta ka dito sa may crop tool. Then when you do that, kung nalala nyo pa kanina, sabi ko nga, mayroong crop, di ba? Yung kanina, para makrop mo yung image. Pero meron dito tinatawag na pan and zoom. Yung pan and zoom, ina-apply niya yung panning effect. Uh, pwedeng left or right, papuntang left, papuntang right yung effect. Or pa-zoom effect. May kita nyo dito na mayroong start and end. Tapos may dalawang rectangle. So pwede natin i-modify yung end. When I click here, o kaya, when I click dito naman, pwede natin i-modify yung start. Uh, meaning, yung start, yan, mag start siya ng full screen, tapos mag end siya ng uh, ganito. Parang, i-zoom in niya ng ganyan. So, kung ayaw mo nang meron siyang pan and zoom, you can just literally drag these handles like that. So, ito yung output niya. And you click OK, tapos, uh, Go back, click ko yung stop. Tapos click ko yung play. Ayan. So, nagpa-play yung playhead natin without performing any zooming effect on that image. So, ayan. Pinapakita ko lang doon class na pwede nyo gamitan ng pan and zoom, etc. yung isang image. So, kung gusto mong lagyan ng ganun, again, click yung image. Click mo yung crop. Punta kita sa may pan and zoom. Tapos, uh, kaya crop, pan and zoom, pwede natin um, i-edit or i-adjust yung effect. So, pwede ganito naman. Halimbawa, uh, yung end, natin natin yung start, gawin natin siyang full screen. Tapos, yung end, um, pwede ganito. So, start, full screen, end niya ganito naman. Click OK. So, ganun lang maglagay ng pan and zoom effect. Now, another thing is, when you double click on this image, um, pwede natin siyang, uh, pwede natin i-click yung advance, tapos pwede natin i-adjust yung mga different settings pa dito, pwede mo siyang i-flip horizontal, flip vertical, etc. Kahit sa video, pwede yun. Pero aside from here, class, since image yung nilagay natin, um, 
meron siyang tab na photo, meron din siyang tab na yun for motion. So, if you want to apply some uh, animations like this, yan. So, pwede mong i-apply. Pero, in my case, gusto ko lang ng mga display yung images ko na ganyan, okay na to. So, ito na lang ang gagamitin ko. I can double-click that image. Pula tayo dito sa may photo. Tapos, uh, yung duration, I can apply yung ganito class. Let's say, gawin ko siyang 4 seconds lang. When I do 4, tapos when I click apply to all, meaning lahat ngayon ng images na meron ako sa timeline, nasa 4 seconds na lang. Okay. So, I guess, okay na tayo doon. Uh, next is, gusto ko maglagay ng uh, parang uh, opening title, etc. So, what we're going to do here now is to click text or credit. I can go to um, let's say titles. Pwede kong gamitin to. Tapos, let's say um, pwede pumili sa mga to actually. So, let's say click ko nga yan. Tapos, play natin. Yan. So, yun yung effect. Pwede ko rin i-click yung eto, yung simple lang. Tapos, play. Yan. So, pag nagusto mo yung text na yon you can just drag it dito pa baba. And then, play natin. Alright. In this case, ang dinrag ko is uh, text lang siya from titles category. Merong iba't ibang category kasi ng text dyan. But, um, yun. Pag na-add ko yun, pwede mong adjust yung duration. Let's say, dito lang mag appear Pwede mo siya double-click. Uh, para may mag-appear na pop-up window. Ito yung advanced text edit actually. Na pwede mong i-modify yung text. Etc. Blah, blah, blah. Pero, cancel na lang natin. Um, hindi ito yung gusto ko ang ilagay na title. But rather, Ipili ako dito sa preset ni Filmora na opener. And then, I may want to use this. I can just uh, add this. Ayan. So, na-add ko na siya. Kaso dito siya nag-appear. So, drag ko lang siya dito sa beginning. Ang pinagkaiba na ito dun sa unang example natin is, yung mga opener usually na to ni Filmora, meron siyang kasamang video clip. So, may kasamang video background, which is eto. Tapos, meron siyang kasamang text. So now, when I hit spacebar, so yung mag appear na ganun, and then, okay, so let's edit this text now. I can double click this text, tapos may mag appear dito na basic editing or basic settings. Pwede kang literally mag-click sa mga text mo dito sa preview window. And, press type mo dyan. For example, hello, like that. Ayan. So, na-edit na natin yung text, di ba? Pero, I do advise na i-apply natin yung advanced settings. So, paano yung advanced settings? I-click mo lang tong text, or double-click. Tapos, though meron dito yung basic settings, pwede mong i-click yung advanced. So, para mag-appear itong pop-up window na to. Okay? Dito sa pop-up window na yan, ito yung advanced editing niya. Pwede mong um, i-drag around yung mga text. May sarili siyang timeline actually. So, yung pagkaka-arrange ng mga text natin. Yung mga gray area na to is yung duration ng animation. Pwede mong i-adjust. Etc. Pwede mo ring i-click yung layer na to. Let's say, click ko yung layer ng hello. is this one. Tapos, pwede akong pumunta dito sa left side. Pwede kong baguhin yung fill color niya, border, shadow, or preset. Or even yung animation, pwede kong baguhin yung way kung paano siya mag-animate. Okay? But in my case, hindi ko na babaguhin yung animation. Papalitan ko na lang yung text. So let's say, tatype ko na lang dito, presenting. You can change font, uh, alignment, etc. Alright, and then now, um, I think I'm good with that. I can now click OK. Then I can just uh, play that. Alright. And there you 
Now, aside dun sa title, gusto ko siya lagyan lang parang ending dito sa part na to. So, kakapi ko siya. And then, um, wait, before ko gawin yan, class, uh, meron tinatawag dito, class, na scrub or scrubbing. Pag sinabi natin scrubbing, um, parang ina-access natin yung timestamp or yung rulers ng timeline para tayo nag-zoom in sa timeline like this. So, paano ko yung ginagawa? Natapat ko lang mouse pointer dito sa bandang ruler section ng timeline and then I can just click and drag it. Ang ganyan. Yan. Or inward. Pag ginagawa ko yan, class, it doesn't mean na parang pinapahaba ko yung video. Hindi ganun, okay? Hindi nagubago ang duration ng video pag dinadrag ko yan. But rather, para nagkakaroon tayo ng um, vision dun sa timeline na for specifics, gano natin na measure yung length or duration ng specific part. So, dito nakikita ko na o, oh, nandito pala yung 6 uh, second mark. Nandito yung 4 second mark. Nakikita ko kasi kapag ka masyadong maliit yung ganito, yung sa timeline natin, almost na makikita natin dito, ano na, uh, naka-half na siya by 30 seconds, 1 minute. Di mo na nakikita yung specifics ng time. So, you can scrub this para mas ideally makita natin further wide vision yung timeline. Okay. Now, um, yep. So, ikakopy and paste ko nga to. Ayan. Or I can just, ito, yung text. Try natin. Copy ko yung text. Tapos, pata tayo sa dulo. Lagi ko dito yung playhead. When I hit control V, as you can see, yung text lang yung nakopy natin. So, paano yun? Gusto kong i-copy pati yung video clip na to. Nakatapat no text. So, Click lang natin yan. Hold mo yung control sa keyboard and then click. Tapos control C, copy. Tapos pala tayo sa dulo. Click tayo dito sa pinaka last part and then control V. So yun, mag a na rin yung... Yan, para consistent lang sa ending. Kaso, ending to, so hindi ko naman kailangan lagyan pa ng uh, presenting ulit, etc. So siguro in this way, um, nalagyan ko siya ng cutting editing. So, double click ko yung text. Tapos, click ko yung advance. And then, I can further modify this. I can just maybe delete this part. Tapos, eto, baka baguhin natin yung size. Try natin gawing mga 40. Like that. And, uh, meron ako ditong quote na kinawa from uh, saan na yun? From Mahatma Gandhi. Is to share. Like this. So the world has enough for everyone's needs. And but not for everyone's greed. The center alignment ko lang siya. Bawas ako lang ng konti siguro yung size. Let's say, gawin natin sa mga 32. Okay. Hmm. Bagoyin ko yung uh, point. Okay. So like that. Okay, and then I can now click OK. Tapos, yun. Para meron tayong konting uh, quote or lesson about the story. So, about saan ba yung story? Um, story about Eddie Bird. Yeah. Lagyan natin siya ng background music. Say this one. So, lalagay ko siya dito. Yan. So, play ko siya. Or maybe let's save this muna. Okay, I'm not good at storytelling and something something no words. Ayan, pero I'll try to uh, tell the stories again. So yung the idea ng story niya is merong three eggs ng birds before and then um 
As you can see, napisa yung dalawang eggs. And they are requesting food dun sa mother nila. Ayan. Pero as you can see, dito sa illustration, medyo nagagalit yung isa kasi meron siyang kaagaw dun sa food. Ayan. May attitude agad. Ayan. So, yan. When the mother came, na may daladalang food, so syempre, happy sila dun sa food. Just disregard how I uh, tell the story. Uh, so, the idea is, ayun nga, so, may pagkagredo yung isa, so, hindi pa nauubos ng isa yung isa, isa, binilisan niya kumain para mag-request ulit ng other food ako sa mother. So, the mother left. The other one is now full. So, kumuha ulit yung mother ng another food. Ngayon, may naisip itong isang bird, itong greedy bird na to, na, oh, may kaagaw na siyang isa, so, meron na naman panibago na lalabas na kaagaw niya. So, ang gagawin niya is something really bad like that. So, kinulak niya yung isa para yeah, para silang dalaw na lang matira. And then now, when the mother came back, syempre, yung food para lang dun sa greedy bird. While the other one is sleeping, ah, mamaya may gagawin siya. So, nag-request na naman siya ng food. The mother left ulit. And then, while wala yung mother, so, tinulak niya yung isa. So, para siya nalang matira, para sa kanya nalang lahat ng food resources, right? So, that's how greedy this bird is. And then, when the mother is flying back, yan, dahil narinig na nga siya, natitense na siya dun sa uh, narinig niya, narinig, yung anak niya naggalit na, nag-request. And, sadly, may hunter na, yun, nakabaral dun sa mother. And in that time, so, Yung greedy bird na to, siya na lang yung natira, of course. Without knowing how to fly, without knowing anything. So, in that case, may kita niya dito na siya na lang mag-isang natira. And I think that's a sad story about greedy, greedy thing nung bird na yun. So, so meron tayong quote, the world has enough for everyone's need, but, but, but not for everyone's greedy, and something like that. Right. So, that's why nag-add ako dito ng background music na medyo sad. Lastly, on this part, kita natin na yung video na tapos sa dito sa part na to. So, I might need to cut this audio. So, click ko yung audio, click yung split, and then I can click this and then delete. Lastly, yung audio, lalagyan ko siya ng fade out. So, double click ko yung fade, I mean yung audio, tapos lalagyan ko siya ng fade out effect. So, maybe for... Um, Somehow, mga 2 seconds, konti-unti nag-exit yung audio. Okay. So, <clears throat> in that case, yun, meron na tayong storybook video na nagawa. So, ang ano lang naman dito is, meron dapat tayong illustration na magagawa. Okay. And, uh, of course, yung concept ng story. Maganda meron tayong concept ng story to do that. Alright? So, that's our another example. Now, um, let me do this. Uh, I'll show you another example. Uh, image, audio, and video editing. I'll just show you class an existing project. And where did this a project na to? Um, pakita ko yung output.
Okay, so I might, I might want to pause in this part. Ah, dito sa part na to, uh, as you can see, merong parang nag-break dance. And nagkaroon ng slow motion, nagkaroon ng konting um, overlay, and then that, nagkaroon ng uh, animation effects dun sa part na yun. So naglagay tayo ng element. So dito class, um, i-preview ko lang sa inyo yung sample project na to, kung paano siya nagawa. Hindi naman overall kasi I'm sure you have an idea now na ang idea ng video editing na to, na project na to is pinagsama-sama natin yung mga videos pero ayun nga, may in-apply tayong ibang uh, editing. So like here, meron akong text. Uh, alam naman natin paano mag-add ng text but the idea there is let's say starting from here, uh, kung mag-add man ako ng text, no, uh, I-click ko yung text or credit, parang yung kanina lang din. Meron dito sa titles, ito yung ginamit ko. Nilagay ko lang sa summer here. Double click. Tapos, ayan. I can click advance. Tapos, in ko lang itong text. All about... All about... Ayan. Or... Ayan, so ganun lang so that's just how I did yung title dito kanina okay so yun lang and then dito naman mapansin ninyo na yung mountain is nag zoom effect syang ganun so remember yung pan and zoom na uh, diniscuss natin kanina yung pan and zoom so remember so dito sa folder natin ito yung original na video ng mountain. So, when you click that, tapos pag pinlay ko siya, as you can see, static lang siya. I mean, steady lang siya. Like that. So, in-apply lang natin siya ng pan and zoom. So, again, to apply that, you can just drag yung clip natin na to. Double click. You can click this crop tool. Go to pan and zoom. Tapos yung end na to, ito yan. So, in-adjust ko yung And then, let's say meron kayong in-edit na video tapos gusto nyong i-zoom. No, gusto nyong i-zoom yung specific part. So, maganda to. Magandang way to do that. Then, I can just click OK. So, you'll see the effect here na nag-zoom siya dun sa part na nilagay natin. Alright? And then, dito naman, after nyong mag-zoom, nagkaroon ng black area. So, parang nag-add ako dito ng pause effect na black. Tapos walang any audio. ba? Diba? Tapos pag entrance dito ng next video, dun pala mag-entrance yung new audio. So, paano ko nilagay yung black area na to? Or black section na yon? Sa so, Filmora, meron kasi siya dito nakalagay na um, available sample colors. Like that. I can <clears throat> add some colors. Tapos, let's say, drag ko lang siya somewhere here sa timeline natin. Ito siya. Ito yung newly added na black. Tapos, adjust ko lang duration. Dadrag ko lang siya ng ganyan. So, that's just how I added that black part. Or, I would suggest, kung meron naman kayong graphic, other graphic, um, ang ginawa, pwedeng image na lang ilagay nyo doon. Pwede rin. Okay? Tapos, yung audio, um, inad ko yung audio, nilagyan ko siya ng konting Uh, fade in to second siguro lower natin ng content para dahan dahan lang nag entrance yung yung volume ng audio like that so hindi siya biglaan na nag-appear dahan dahan lang and I would like to focus on this part naman yung sinabi ko kanina na from normal speed tas bigla siya mag slow mo which is ginawa natin to kanina doon sa may tarwa na video yung may wine No, yung normal speed, tapos maya maya nag-toast yung mga wine glass na naka-slow-mo. So, ganun din effect ang ginawa natin. But the difference is, nag-add ako dito ng um, overlay. And then, uh, nag-add pa ako ng additional elements. So, paano natin yung ginawa? Let me add yung video na yun. Uh, eto, lagay ko siya dito. Yan. So, yung original video natin na to, yung... The breakdance is ito siya. 
that, diba? So, <clears throat> from here, let's have yung addition, yung normal speed niya to take over. Tapos, slow mo natin yung other parts niya. So, maybe from here, um, or maybe from here, um, slow mo natin. Okay, so I'll go click this para ma split yung video. And then, uh, from here, yung duration niya is 4 seconds. Let's say, gawin ko siyang uh, 12 seconds. So, from normal speed, okay, slow mo siya. Like that. Okay. Also, I want to add some um, overlays or kaya filters. Okay. Pwede natin lagyan ng filters. Let's say, dito sa filter. Tapos, hanapin ko yung, let's say, kibawa, shake. Tapos, I can click, siguro yung mild. Pag click ko yung mild, tapos, click ko yung play. And so, as you can see, nagsishake yung video in that part. Kasi meron tayong ina-apply na filter. I mean, meron tayong tinry na filter, pero hindi ko pa siya actually nilagay. Kung lalagay ko siya, dadrag ko lang siya somewhere here. Like that. So, pwede tayo mag-start from the very beginning. Ayan. So, nakapag-add tayo ng filter, right? Um, tapos, maliban doon, pwede ko siyang um, lagyan ng another uh, filter. Let's say, vintage. Dadrag ko lang din siya. Yan o. So, normal. Tapos, slow-mo. Tapos, vintage. Tapos, I can try to put some effect siguro on this part. For elements. So, I can go to elements. Tapos, hanap tayo ng elements na gusto natin. All. So, merong ba bang categories? Shapes. Yan. I'd like to use yung shapes. Tapos, maybe I'm going to add this elements. So, yung mga element, para sila mga transparent na effects. So, when we play it, as you can see, mayroong ganon na animation. So, may mga given animation or preset. So, again, puta lang sa elements. Uh, let's say, add natin tong isa pa. Dito naman. So, maybe on this part, yung element on this part, uh, lalagay natin siya, position natin somewhere dito. Ayan. Tapos yung isa, somewhere here. So, like that. Alright, so, yun lang. And then, on this part, that's just how I did that. On this part naman, meron tayong um, normal na video here. Yung, uh, king. Okay. Tapos, kung mapansin nyo, sa timeline, meron siyang um, overlay na nakalagay. So, yung nakita nyo kanina, eto, yung nakita nyo yung effect na lens flare. So, yung para may sinag ng araw na nag-animate like that. So, we just added that. So, to add something like that, you just go to, natry na natin maglagay ng filter, ng elements, yung overlay. Uh, hanapin mo lang dito, let's say, yung gusto mong effect na overlay. Let's say, sa lens flare. I might want to use this. So, click lang natin siya when you play it. Yan, so I would like to add that. I can just drag it here sa timeline natin. Yan. So meron siyang effect like that. <clears throat> Alright, so just just how I did it, class. Dun sa example na yun. Let's proceed with this. <clears throat> Diba, meron kayong multimedia project or let's say meron kayong video na edit tapos gusto nyo lagyan lang 
narration, tapos kayo din ang magna-narrate. Ayan. So, um, pwede natin gawin yan. Okay? Dito sa Filmora. Meron siyang feature na kung saan pwede daw tayo mag-record. Ayan. Pwede tayo mag-record ng voiceover o kaya ng mga mag-record ng PC screen. Halimbawa, may tutorial kang gagawin o yung ginagawa sa PC tapos gusto mo nare-record yun. No? Pwede kang gamit ng, uh, ng screen recorder, any software, pero si Filmora, kaya niya rin gawin yun. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, o kaya, yung iba, let's say, gusto nyo mag-cover mag, mag ng song, for example. Yan. Uh, so, meron ako dito ang uh, video asset kung saan meron ako ang dinalod na karaoke sa YouTube. Yan. Sa so project na to yan, meron ako nito. Tapos, sa uh, sample project din na to meron ako um, recorded or recorded na audio using another software. Yan, using another software. Meron akong audio editing software, third-party audio, so audio editing software. Hindi naman to required class na gumamit kayo, pero I just recommend it. Okay, nire-recommend ko lang. Tama, may explain ko bakit siya nire-recommend. So for now, let's say, um, uh, let's say for example, uh, <clears throat> gusto nyo mag-create ng cover, yan. Kaya naglagay kayo ng video, video ninyo, tapos na kumakanta, halimbawa, or video cover. O kaya, katulad nito, naglagay ako ng karaoke na video. Kaya naisip ko dyan. Tapos, record nyo na kumakanta kayo. Tapos, ang focus ko talaga dito sa part na to is, how can we add a record a voiceover? Yan. Right now, hindi nag-play. Pag inon ko kasi to, mag-play yung audio. Uh, ang ginawa ko kasi dyan is, yun nga, nag-record ako using another software ng audio. Sinave ko siya as WAV file. WAV file. Pwede rin MP3. Tapos dinrag ko siya dito. She's my sunshine in the rain. My child and all when I'm in pain, yeah. Yun lang. Uh, off ko muna siya. Pakita ko kung paano naman mag-record using Filmora without using any other third-party software. So, what you're just going to do first, first step is, let's say kung karaoke to, uh, kaya meron kang video like that, mag start dun yung uh, audio na gagawin mo, tapat mo lang yung playhead, playhead kung saan uh, pwedeng mag-start, magsalita. Like, halimbawa, Dito ko ilalagay yung playhead. Tapos, siguro for this particular example, I'll just mute my uh, audio layer from here. Tapos, siguro yung next audio dito mag appear So, gusto ko dito mag-start yung audio recording. I'll just go to file. And then, I'll click this record media. So, as you can see here, pwedeng i-record ni Filmora yung nasa webcam mo. Pwede niyang i-record yung nasa PC screen mo, yung ginagawa mo sa PC screen pwede rin mag-record ng voiceover. Maganda to, let's say, kung meron kang multimedia project na gagawin, tapos mag add ka ng narration, mag add ka ng, nag-cover ka, add ka ng, uh, ng voice mo, na kumanta ka, yan, pwede. Narration, yan. Maganda rin to sa narration. Tapos, you can just click this, mic icon, and then bibigyan ka ng 3 seconds to start to talk. Tapos, ang maganda dito, class, pag, ka ready na to pagka click mo diyan after 3 seconds magpe-play no magpe-play na tong uh, project natin so habang nagpe-play siya pwedeng habang nagpe-play siya ina-explain mo yung nangyayari din sa video or yun nga sinasabayan mo yung uh, instrumental naman while you are singing if you are making a cover naman uh, like that so halimbawa i-click ko tong mic icon. Tapos magpa-play ngayon yung media sa in the back. And then, uh, you can start talking uh, kasabay nung karaoke uh, mo or video mo dito. Yeah. Okay. So, yun nun. Uh, and then, I can just stop now. Your audio has been added to the library.
Tick okay. I believe ito yun, yung bago niyang added. Tapos, ito yung newly added nating audio. Ngayon, nandito na. So, when we play this now, play ngayon yung video sa in the back. Hindi ko lang kung tinig nyo, pero sobrang, uh, yan, kung tinig nyo, medyo, medyo mahina yung, yung audio. Yan, medyo mahina. Ay, wait na. Then, uh, you can start. Yeah. So, of course, pwede naman natin modify yung audio. Double click mo lang yan. Dito. Sa so volume, adjust mo yung volume. Sagad natin, 200. Click OK. And then, let's play it. Play ngayon yung video sa in the back. And then, uh, you can start talking uh, kasabay nung uh, Kaso nga lang, napakahina pa rin ang audio, right? Kung uh, narinig niya, napakahina pa rin ang voice. Uh, over. Siguro, depende sa mic na gamit, depende sa modulation ng voice, etc. So, that's why I do recommend um, working with another third-party software if you want to add some audio narration o kaya uh, ng song like that. So, dito sa example ko na to, uh, pwede ko kasi i-adjust yung amplitude. Um, meron akong na recommend na free. Um, so ito nagamit ko na rin to before but ayun lang mas mas nasanay ko lang yung software na gamit ko ngayon, yung Cool Edit Pro. But anyway, this one is open source, free and open source, wala kang babayaran, anything basta download mo lang. And then you can uh, record your audio, you can adjust uh, your rec your volume. So kunyari um mag-record ako sa saan ba yun? Cool Edit Pro. Wala kasi akong audacity. Hindi ko na na ano yung audacity. Um, tapos lagi naman ganito yung icon pag magre-record, di ba? Tapos, sige, bigyan ko na rin kayo ng tip sa record. Dalimbawa sa audacity or what. Kung may sample rate, yung 44,100 or uh, more, 48,000, studio quality na yan. Okay na yan. <coughs> tapos when you click OK, you are starting recording na. Like yung example ko kanina. Um, teka, nasan ba yun? Paano ba yung process na ginawa kanina? Nag-play ako ng karaoke. Alam ko ito yung uh, ginawa ko. Pag sabang nag-play yung karaoke, meron akong software na gamit like this. record yata niya yung audio. Uh, anyway. She's my sunshine in the rain My time and all when I'm in the air So parang ganun lang. Sample lang. And then, uh, yung audio na to, yan, pwede mo siyang i-amplify, i-amplitude, parang ginawa natin kanina. Uh, yun, tapos pwede mo na siyang i-save. Uh, as as wave file sa akin sa gamit ko or or mp3 ayan tas yun uh, meron ka ng audio asset na pwede mo nang ilagay sa filmora tapos class pas pag nasa audacity na kayo uh, i'm not sure in particular pero hanapin niyo lang yung amplitude na option or settings sa akin nandito sa effects amplitude amplify pwede nating uh, i-modify yung audio further sa filmora kasi Hanggang 200 yung kanina, sagad na yon Tapos, mahina pa din. I can just click OK. So, dito, uh, tinry kong bawasan yung audio. Yung nakikita nyo dito na sound waves, yan, it represents yung uh, audio natin. No? Yung uh, volume ng audio natin. sa so, yung malakas, yung mahinang part. No? So, using this software, let's say Audacity, you can like, select this. Amplitude uh, settings, effects. Tapos, let's say, amplify ko siya. Uh, I'll add 10 dB boost. Let's say, 10 de decibels. And click. Pwede ko pandagdagan yan, actually. I can click OK. Tapos, pwede pa natin dagdagan uh, further. 
amplitude amplify ulit let's say 10 dB boost ulit ah yan and i think uh, malakas na to yan di ba so tapos pwede mo siyang i-save export etc and uh, yun i will not save that kasi meron na akong recorded talaga actually na we filed on i will just mm, mute this tapos unmute natin yung layer na to Let's check that then. Oh. She's my sunshine in the rain. My talent all when I'm in pain, yeah. Let me tell you what she means to me. Okay, so we have audio. Uh, tapos, pwede pa natin tong further double click. Uh, let's say, pwede mong adjust pa yung volume kung gusto mo pa siyang adjust. Yun, class, uh, I'll just, uh, just showed you a preview on how can you like uh, make a cover if you want. No. Last example ko na to, class. Last example ko is yung sa green screen, green screen or chroma key effects. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you another example. Okay. Uh, okay. Next natin is this example. As you can see, I have this um, media library then. So I have this video. That was this um, uh, effect. Ayan. Yung mga green screen effect. Yung mga to, videos lahat yan. Okay. So dinownload ko din yan sa uh, download ko yan. Dinownload ko yan sa YouTube. Okay. And then uh, let me turn these off sa layer. Pa, pa, yan. And then, naka-turn on na yung layer, uh, yung base video natin. So, ito yung original. Okay, so yun yung um, base video natin na dinalot ko sa YouTube. Now, uh, pag nilagyan ko siya ng uh, green screen effect na ginagamit din sa, let's say, sa movies. So, as you can see, pwede mo mag-add ng Super Saiyan or dun sa part na yun. Ayan, tinaraan ko lang yung mga green screen dito. So, how I did that is ganito. So, delete ko muna yan. Tapos, nag-download ako ng uh, green screen video. Let's say, ito, kinlik ko siya. Tapos, play lang muna natin. Paano siya nag appear Like that. Okay. So now, green screen. Green kasi usually mga video edit um, video editing software, nadetect nila yung color na to na kaya nilang i-transparent automatically. May mga ganong settings. So, uh, yun, nag-download ako ng ganon. Sa YouTube lang din, for personal use lang. Uh, and the, or for educational use. So, from here on, maybe this is a base video natin. Since magi start na super saiyan, yan, do ko siya na yung effect dito. So, drag ko lang yung green screen effect dito sa ibaba. Or, actually, ito, ito yun. Right click, apply to PIP. Actually, yan yung ginawa natin. Pero pwede rin namang drag lang. Lagay mo dito. And then, so, ang effect is ganyan siya. Now, how can we make this more transparent? Now, how can we apply yung green screen effect? To apply green screen effect, you just have to um, right click this um, additional video. Right click mo lang. Tapos mayroon tayo dito nakalagay na green screen. No? Yun lang. Actually, right click green screen. Then may mag-appear na dialog box class. Make sure na i-check nyo to Yung make parts of the clip transparent. Ayan. So as you can see, yun, nag-transparent yung green. Pero yung additional effects, hindi sila nag-green. Yeah, no? So kung marunong kayo sa After Effects or let's say Adobe Animate. Tapos yung background mo, neon green siya like this. Then meron additional effects yun. Pwedeng gawing transparent yun ni Filmora. Or ng other video, video editing software. Tapos yun lang gawin nyo. Apply to PIP, tapos right click, green screen, check, make parts of this clip transparent na ganitong color. You can adjust intensity level 
ng pagka-transparent, <clears throat> then click OK. And then, uh, you'll see here na pwede natin i-scrub this part. Tapos, I can click this green screen effects. We can just actually resize this. Uh, <clears throat> like that. Yan. So, tinapat lang natin dito sa video. Uh, now, uh, kaya na-edit ko siya kasi nag-click ako dito sa green screen effect na ito na video. Tapos, dito ko siya nire-resize. And, let's play it. Like that. Diba? So, yun. Uh, Meron pa akong other green screen effect dito. So, pakita ko lang. Uh, super sign din yata yung effect na to. Kaso meron siyang kasamang text. So, paano yun? Pag may na-download kang ganitong effect, tas meron siyang kasamang text. But, I hope alam niya na kung ano yung gagawin. Dun sa part na yun, para mawala yung text. So, gagawin niya lang is to split yung part na yun. So, I can just click this. Tapos, split. Tapos, click natin yan. Then, delete sa keyboard. Move natin to. Tapos, ito yung effect. Di ba? Tapos, may text na naman. So, siguro, split natin yung part na may mag appear na text. Split. Tapos, yan. Maganda sa nag appear yung text. Split. So, on this part, ito yung may text. I-delete lang natin. Like that. Now, uh, same technique. So, again, right-click. Green screen. Make parts transparent. Click OK. Right-click. Green screen. Make parts of this clip transparent. Click OK. Tapos, double-click mo lang to. Or just click it. Then you can just uh, press space bar. Ayan, pwede natin siyang i-position. And then this part. Then. Ang maganda dun sa nakuha nating base video is meron na siyang audio. Ay, yung green screen effect, meron din siyang audio. Ano. Uy, may thanks for watching pa. So, let's Maybe we can remove that part. Again. Pero pa ang other green screen effect actually, but again, uh, you know, you know now how to apply these effects. Again, so hindi man ganon ka, ka, ano yun? Kapulido yung effects natin for that, but yan, for simple, uh, maybe editing or applying some green screen effect. Maganda kapag nakapag-create kayo ng sarili ninyong green screen effect or nakapag-download ng mga professional green screen effects or elements. Uh, ito lang technique to apply them. Okay? Then you can just export it and then, yun. Meron ka na video uh, na na-edit, of course, with some green screen effects. So, yun, class. Uh, do you have any, some questions? Uh, and it's examples natin. Any questions, class? You can unmute yourself or type sa chat box. Sir, for example po, I have recorded my video. Problem may noise. Paano po siya tanggalin? Okay. Sa, eto yun, no? Yung, sa Filmora, meron naman siyang ganun, actually. Um, let's say, eto yung video. Tapos, you can go to audio tab. Tapos, meron ditong remove background noise. And then you can adjust yung strength ng pagre-remove ng background noise. Okay? I think easiest way, no? Kung nag-edit ka na ng video, natanggalin mo ng background noise. I think easiest way. Punta ka sa audio, check mo yung remove background noise, as adjust mo yan dyan. But yung pinaka-recommend um, ko is, yun nga, uh, gamit ka ng uh, audio editing software, tapos yung video mo na yun is, um, convert mo siya into MP3 or wave, tapos, dito mo siya tanggalin ng ano ng background noise kaso nga lang may mga different process pa yun aaralin mo pa but again kung basic ano lang naman removing background noise 
you can just use yung feature nito ni Filmora sa audio. Check remove background as tapos adjust mo yung settings. And I believe sa Filmora 9 and Filmora 10 or other video editing software, baka meron silang mga mas advanced na way on how to remove that or how to further enhance your uh, audio. Yung matitira lang po sana yung ano yan? BGM nung game. Uh, yun, you can try that. Pero ayun, ang pinaka-recommended ko talaga is you you may want to download an audio editing software kasi mas advanced yung um, settings nila and editing capabilities when it comes to removing background noise. Like here, uh, meron ditong noise, reduc noise reduction tapos meron pa silang different options to reduce your uh, background noise dun sa ano, audio. So, ganun. Okay? So, ganun yung... Uh, technique. But again, video editing in general yung uh, pinakita ko din sa inyo eh, I hope you've learned something here and uh, I hope na uh, meron kayong uh, ma-apply ma nyo to further sa mga gagawin ninyong uh, projects man involving video editing and uh, yun lang class and uh, I will see you again uh, next time. Thank you for joining and again, see you again next time class. Bye. Thank you, sir.